Guys, we're cutting across to breaking news coming in at top of the bulletin. Viewers, there has been no end to bomb threats to airlines. Today as well, fresh threats have been issued to 85 flights. Vistara, 20 flights of Vistara and 20 flights of Air India have uh, been also issued threats there among the 85 flights that have been issued fresh threats today the airlines are yet to issue a statement but this is the break uh, latest breaking news updates that we're bringing you viewers this of course after the center has uh, rebuked social media platforms over the bomb threats to flights and said how it it is amounting to a betting crime. Now, joining us live uh, with, on the bulletin are Samiksha and Rakshita from the newsroom and uh, Harsha, who's joining us live from the ground. Let me go across to uh, Rakshita first. Rakshita, what uh, details are you picking up on the fresh threats that have been issued to these flights and where have these threats been issued? What platform? Well, this is a massive amount this time. It's a big, uh, uh, you know, uh, breaking that we have right now. 85 flights. It's a fresh threat to 85 flights, 20 mm. Air India, 20 Indigo flights, 20 Vistara and 20, 25 Akasa. So this is uh, the latest update we have. So it has crossed the 150 mark if you see in the past 10 days, you know, mm. it's uh, more than 120 flights at least who have received this bomb threat. And remember uh, there have been high level meetings time and again that have been, you know, convened on this matter mm. by the Home Ministry and involving all the security agencies as well including the police and uh, this time. In fact, uh, most of these threats come via social media and yesterday, yesterday we saw how the center had also rebuked social media platform X for the threats that have been issued. These are incessant threats and uh, Samiksha also joins us here. Samiksha, this is a whopping number of flights that have received a bomb threat today. 85 flights today. Well, that's uh, right, Rakshita. And you know, this is a worrying uh, trend that we are seeing. Uh, let's also tell our viewers uh, that the Civil Aviation Ministry has been holding back-to-back -back meetings. Uh, they are even mulling on a legislation uh, that is likely to come into effect. It's even being said that those hoax callers uh, could be put on no-fly list. Uh, there have been series of statements coming in uh, from the Civil Aviation Minister who say that there have been discussions ongoing as to uh, the toughest action that can be expected against us, those uh, hoax callers. Uh, even social media platform, for that matter, Rakshita was pulled up just a day before yesterday uh, because these threats are being issued on social media platforms. Uh, talking about the latest uh, number of threats that are uh, coming in, uh, these are 85 flights in total, uh, of which uh, these flights include Air India flights, Indigo flights, and even uh, Akasa flights. Uh, Rakshita, take us to more details that you're learning of. In fact, you know, the centre has also uh, come down very heavily on social media platform X and has also, it's, it's actually planning to take uh, legislative action against uh, what's been happening. Uh, it aims to, in, in fact, take these actions after a virtual meeting had taken place, you know, uh, Kriti, uh, called by the Ministry of uh, Electronics and IT as well, uh, with the officials of all the airlines and social media platform X. So this is a whopping number of 85 airlines receiving bomb threats in a single day. For the past 10 days, we are seeing that despite several high-level meetings being convened uh, with the, the airlines, all the CEOs of uh, various airlines, of the security agencies, or, or the investigative agencies, many complaints, many FIRs have also been f uh, filed, but the issue is, is not resolved. We still see that there is this uh, constant threat while flying. Of course, it affects the business as well. Who is behind these threats? That's the biggest uh, point of content, uh, you know, curiosity right now. Well, absolutely. Uh uh, Rakshita, Samiksha, stay on. Uh, Harsha is also joining us live from uh, the ground in New Delhi. Uh, Harsha, of course, the centre has issued uh, some norms, some steps to control uh, the menace of the bomb threats that are being issued and in fact has also said that these threat issuers will be put on no-fly list. But how easy is it really to identify these people who are issuing the threats given that we're learning how the use of dark web uh, is being uh, employed to issue the hoax threats to the flights? So, Kirti, right now we know that the how the uh, several ministries are dealing with there's an engagement between the Civil Aviation Ministry and also between the other ministries at, as well, which includes the law enforcement agencies like Counter Terror Division, RAW, IB, all are these engaged in to look out at who from where the VPN is, VPN is being uh, is being fixed because it's not one VPN, there's a multi layering of the VPN. And today, as on Republic, we have broken 85 fresh bomb threats have been received by several airlines, which include 20 Indigo. 
Indigo, 20 Air India, 20 Vistara and 25 Akasa Airline have received their fresh bomb threats. And to note it, because in the span of just 72 to 80 hours, it's almost the graph has increased to more than 80 airlines getting the uh, 80 bomb threats getting to the airlines. And it's the worrisome issue because the Ministry of Civil Aviation is continuously trying to deal out with the situation where the several where the points of the legislation is also being worked upon, worked upon how to ensure that the unruly people who are setting out these bomb threat messages should be put on the no-fly list and there should also be cognizable, penal, uh, pe they should be penalized and there should be stringent action under the BNS fresh sections that is being worked upon but right now the worrisome issue for the uh, uh, law enforcement agencies is that they are working on tracking the VPNs. These na are not VPN only generated from inside the country but most of the VPNs which have been tracked are the international VPN by right. people who are sitting outside the country and therefore it is continuously being said that there is a conspira conspiracy mm. and the sabotage angle in mm. the bomb threats and this is the reason why Civil Aviation Ministry back to back is carrying out meeting not only with the not only with the airline but with the ministries as well because it is a festival time. Mm. Now the passengers are also scared to take the flight. They are in the panic situation and to minimize the disruption of the flights that is the reason why most of the like most of the airlines are not putting out these fresh bomb threats on their social media platform they don't want the passengers to panic and not take the airlines because of it and this is what is the main task and main challenge in front of the civil aviation ministry as well how to deal with the situation right now we have what we have got to know is that both the regulators dgc and bcas have got to know about the hmm. fresh bomb threats and several flights have been diverted as well and most of the flights in these bomb threats are the international flights basically that's more matter the, that's more concerning issue for the aviation ministry and mha that why most of the international flights are getting bomb threats to ensure the safety of the foreign passengers and also the Indian passengers, it's very important that some strong legislation should come in place. Back to you. Oh, well, absolutely. Let's go to uh, Samiksha, who's joining us from the newsroom as well. Samiksha, now, uh, do we have any information about who really could be behind this alleged conspiracy to target the Indian airlines, especially flights going on international routes? Uh, we've earlier picked up leads on how Pakistan and Chinese IDs may have been used to issue these hoax threats. But any further updates on those leads? So make sure. That's right. Uh, and uh, in fact, Rakshita, uh, talking about these statements coming in from the Civil Aviation Minister, Ram Mohan Naidu, he says uh, that all efforts are being made to, uh, to find out to, uh, exactly what is the motive behind these hoax threats. Hoax threats. He says uh, it's very difficult uh, to tell at this point what the motive is uh, behind these hoax calls. We are using Intel, uh, the IB and even other agencies to ensure that incidents like this uh, do not happen again. Uh, in fact, let's also tell our viewers how security has been upgraded across airports uh, across the country, beg your pardon, uh, agencies have increased security deployment by almost 10% over the past one week. Uh, talking about the latest threats, these are 85 uh, airlines who have received threats, Akasa Airlines, Indigo flights and even Air India flights who have received threats. Uh, Civil Aviation Minister who recently said that government is even proposing uh, to place perpetrators on a no-fly list. So crackdown that is uh, going to take place on all these hoax callers, uh, Rakshita. We are expecting that legislation also to come into effect at the earliest, uh, given that it's a statement that's categorically been put out that this is uh, a legislation that is uh, work in progress by the Civil Aviation Ministry. All right, I also want to come to you now, Rakshita. What other measures have really been put in place? Uh, have the uh, authorities been able to pick a point uh, of uh, arrangement between the airlines, the CEOs, the DGCA and the ministry, uh, whether there could be a law that will be devised that will really put an end to this menace, not an immediate end, at least a solution that could be immediately arrived upon? You know, Kriti, we have seen that uh, how, uh, uh, you know, Ramon Naidu, who is the aviation minister yesterday, has assured that uh, the government is completely in control of the situation and there's nothing to really panic about it and that uh, no rushed uh, decisions will be taken. That's what he said, that there will be no uh, rushed, uh, you know, decisions that will be taken in view of what's been happening. But the fact remains that more than 170 flights have received a bomb threat. This is something that could jeopardize the lives of thousands of people because uh, uh, this is about civil aviation and that's something that uh, is in the minds, a question that is raised 
placed in the minds of every citizen who uh, you know takes the air route who in fact takes up flights uh, every day for work or for personal reasons and uh, talking about the measures as it was pointed out earlier about uh, uh, the various uh, deployment of air marshal that of course is only in the case of uh, hijacking but also in terms comes to bomb threats that's uh, that's where the, in the investigative agencies that's where the intelligence agencies also come into play uh, they have been of course on high alert and what we know is that there is a legislative action that could be uh, put in place and uh, of course the government has been holding uh, high level uh, security meetings on the same and uh, also uh, with the social media giants like uh, social media platform uh, platforms like x uh, so as to curb these hoax threats and mails all right well thanks sir rakshita samiksha and uh, harsha for joining us and giving us all those details with that we always uh, we uh, shift our focus we're getting you a big